I've had the Blue Ready EB70 for a few months now, and I've really put it through its paces. We've used it to support our camping trips and DC fridge, power the house during blackouts, run power tools around the yard, power play dates and a birthday at the park, and have also done some just general stress testing to see what it's capable of. I'm ready to give it a final verdict. First, what's in the box? You get a two-year warranty card, a 200 watt AC plug, an eight millimeter to MC4 connector for solar, and an eight millimeter to car charge plug. It's all very nicely packed in a thick, high quality box with lots of padding, and all the wires feel like they're reasonable gauge. The EB70 comes with a great feature set. It weighs 21 pounds and has a 716 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I really prefer this battery chemistry because of its 2500 plus cycle lifetime, which is well worth a few extra pounds for me. In my testing, once you deduct the 10% reserve for battery longevity and the AC conversion cost, the usable battery power comes to about 640 watts, which is a very respectable 89% usable power. It has a maximum sustained output of 700 watts, which I have used for the entirety of the battery life without issue, and it supports up to 1400 watts for a short period. The DC side of the EB70 supports a 15 watt wireless phone charger on top, two 100 watt USB-C ports, two 5 volt 3 amp USB-A ports, two regulated 12 volt 10 amp DC outputs, and one 12 volt 10 amp car port. On the AC side, there are two three prong outlets and two two prong. All these work just as you would expect with the 100 watt USB-C power delivery ports really standing out as class leading. It was pretty impressive to be able to charge two MacBook Pros in the woods at full speed while we were camping. The EB70 can be charged with any of the three included adapters easily. Due to the eight amp charging limitation of the EB70 in my testing, I got about 200 watts from the AC plug 165 watts from my SP200 200 watt solar panel, and when charging for my car, I get around 130 watts. It can be charged and discharged concurrently, which means that a solar panel can keep your fridge, lights, etc. running indefinitely if you watch your power consumption. The overall build quality is very high. The plastic feels solid and the handle is robust. It feels like a heavy duty tool with no flex or cheap materials. The light works fine, although I never really use it. The fans on the device are pretty quiet, Although the fan on the AC power brick doesn't ever turn off, so it makes a continuous noise that you need to be aware of. It's never been an issue for me because I never leave it plugged in, and I really never charge from AC anyway. The one critique that I would make of the EB70 is that the lights on the buttons could be brighter. I find myself having to shade them under the bright sun to see if they were lit, but that's really not a big deal since first off you shouldn't have it in the sun, and second, you very infrequently are changing the inverters on or off. Overall, I would highly recommend this device. It comes in at a reasonable price, has the best battery chemistry currently available, and has fantastic 100 watt USB-C ports. It does the job it's meant to with no silly frills or gimmicks, and it never lets you down. I've included the links below to the EB70, as well as the solar panels and cables that I use to go with it. I pair mine with a single Blue Ready SP200 solar panel and a long MC4 cable so that I can keep it wherever I want and let it charge from a distance. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave any questions you have below, and if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing.